Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here again, and uh, it's time for another shave video. And I'm going to be using a new soap. I've actually used it once already, but not on camera. Uh, from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. And this is the black label, the Doppelganger soaps. And I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements soaps, but these are an homage to uh, some of the uh, modern scents that are out there, uh, masculine uh, cologne scents. And this one happens to be uh, uh, similar to Christian Dior's Sauvage. Now, uh, Doug uh, Douglas sent me this from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements probably about three weeks ago when he hadn't even decided whether they were going to release them yet. And uh, I was really excited to try this. I was ready to rock this with a video three weeks ago. But he said, no, we're still deciding whether to move forward and we're, we're finalizing a few items. So I have tried this and I did like it. And it's, uh, <laughs> he's, he's, you know, put ideas into my head now. Now I've got to go out and see about buying some Christian Dior Sauvage uh, cologne uh, just because it's probably one of the scents that I haven't tried yet, but if it smells as good as this soap, it's definitely, uh, oh, oh, I definitely am going to have to buy some. Fortunately, they're at Macy's and some of the fragrance online stores, and they're under 60 bucks for uh, the cologne. But I mean, I have Obsession. In fact, I'm using Obsession today but, uh, as the aftershave because uh, I do not have... Uh, yet some Sauvage cologne or aftershave and I'm gonna get that and I'm going to tackle this beard today with a combination I do not recommend I really really do not recommend you ever put into a Mula R41 a feather blade I really, really, really don't recommend that you do that. I'm going to do that today because I had went to the skin doctor and he had burned off some, uh, well, what do they call it? Precancerous uh, skin, is skin issues, basal skin, skin cancer. Anyway, they froze off some stuff. So I don't know if I'm going to do a three pass shave today. So I think on a one pass shave, I want something to knock it down almost immediately. And that R41 will do it, but uh, I'm going to put a feather blade in it. And uh, feather is not one of my favorites because I have really mild beard, mild, uh, you know, it, it does, my, my skin doesn't, or my beard doesn't grow that thick. A lot of you guys swear by the feather. And I don't know if it was my friend uh, Sal, I forget, one of you asked a while ago, would you ever do a shave <laughs> with a feather blade in a Mula R41? I thought, hell no. But uh, today uh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to try it. I'm very comfortable with the R41 now. And I know this soap works good because I've already tried it. So if for some reason I cut the hell out of my face today, it's not because of the soap, that I guarantee. It's because of this combination I've chosen to use. So uh, I really don't know how this is going to go, but I'm going to put it together in front of you so you know that uh, I'm not swapping the blade at the last minute. All right, there's the feather. Locking it in to the R41. I haven't had much luck with feather blades before. I really, I've cut myself some pretty good. But uh, we'll see if I've matured a little or grown a little and I've got a new a brush from a DS cosmetic uh, that came and it's a synthetic brush but I really like this handle and you've seen I've got a couple of uh, these handles I think my friend Rich uh, has one that I got from him that I bought from him that is, is a long one of these long handles and I, they really intrigue me and their prices are, are really good so this is the uh, DS cosmetic I'll put a link to these guys and to Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements in the uh, description of this video. And I'm keeping the mustache. Halloween's coming. Told you already I'm going to go as a Tom Selleck's version of Magnum P.I. 
All right. Let's wet that brush. Oh, and I've got my, uh, someone said, what brand alum block do you use? And to be honest, I'd forgot, but I'm <laughs> probably gonna need it today. The uh, Edwin Jaeger. All right. Let's get this party started. I don't get a chance to hang out with my uh, blooper. Well, that blooper scared the crap out of me. Man, sitting here thinking about shaving my face with that <laughs> Mula R41 and that suction cup gives way. Son of a gun. All right, let's hope that doesn't happen again. Oh. All right, it does smell good. Nice and thick. You can tell I shaved my neck earlier because I've been growing this beard out for this shave, but uh, I kind of used one of my vintage sensor excels in the shower today and took the hair down off the neck. Oh, I definitely would never recommend this combo, but for all I know, some of you are using it and you're loving it. I'm loving that handle. Very easy to hold. All right. Here we go. Right away, I can tell I'm not going to like this. Oh, man, it is too sharp. That's absolutely BBS. Immediately, one pass but I can feel the aggression. Oh man, I feel it. Yeah, don't do what I'm doing. I'm not lying. This soap can protect the skin with this blade and razor combo. Oh. Probably one of the stupidest combinations I've ever done in my life. I'm gonna do it anyway. Man, amazing shave though. You know, it's not needed, but <laughs> I might do a just a cross second pass on the chin here. One thousand percent not needed. Probably be taken. The first layer of skin off. All right, man, that's it. One and a half passes. Wow. Now the feather blade, I'm not knocking the feather blade. I've got boxes of these feather blades and they, they just, to me, they're just too damn sharp. So Mr. Douglas Smythe, your soap 
held up fantastic to that combination blade and razor. And I'll be damned. <sighs> wow. I did not cut myself. And, you know, let's, let's, let's prove the point here. Some of you are going, bull, bull. He didn't do it. <laughs> I did it. I won't do it again. But I did it. Whoa. You know what? I did nick myself here, see? Well, I'll run a pass with the uh, alum block. It certainly doesn't hurt. certainly doesn't hurt. I caught that phone before it hit the... Oh boy, that burns. Oh yeah, that burns. Yeah, that's, that's too sharp a combo. Don't do that. But the smell, the scent of that soap, and the slickness of that soap, two, two thumbs up, two thumbs up. If you haven't tried their products, go to their site. You, you really owe it to yourself to check out that. And that soap, and they have uh, dozens and dozens of different soaps and products and, at PAA. So you're really gonna give yourself a treat if you uh, use it. Another one of my favorite scents. Jesus. <sighs> Boy. That's not acting. Wow. All right. Thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, subscribing. I really appreciate it. The gentleman who won the uh, 7,000 uh, subscriber appreciation giveaway. Turns out he's from Diamond Bar, California. I think that's the only California winner I've had in a contest in a long, long time. Congratulations, Francis. He contacted me. I'm going to package everything up and send it to him. And, uh, man, we'll have to do another subscriber giveaway soon. But uh, not bad. One little nick. Mustache is coming in. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you all again very, very soon. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.